Viewers and subscribers, welcome once again uh, a new screencast about uh, the how can you monitor the microservices based applications with the uh, with the with the Spring Boot actuator, uh, with the micrometer and plus the micrometer with the with the with the Grafana and Prometheus. Uh, this is uh, Spring Boot uh, Prometheus. Uh, microservice application monitoring. So previously, I discussed one of the screencast number 18, and but this is the will be the new screencast about the the all the microservices. The last uh, last one years, what I did, I tried to make really uh, more detailed information. How can you set up those uh, microservice monitoring uh, tools like like. Um, Spring Boot Actuator and Micrometers and Gafana and Prometheus and then those set of information uh, different uh, monitoring possibility as you already know there's a possibility to to monitor microservice application uh, with the with the with the Spring Boot and Actuator with the Spring Boot administrative tools but it was not popular uh, Spring Boot administrative tools but uh, uh, in respect to the uh, the Spring Boot actuator plus micrometer, uh, and then the micrometer has all the metrics, this information, health information of your microservices, and you can uh, you can visualize with the uh, with the with the with the with the with the micrometer and the, uh, with the Prometheus and the Gafana. And then previously I discussed the last screen cut about the different uh, testing possibility with the microservices like the uh, uh, Postman's and Swagger or OpenAPI 3, the testing possibility. And also I discussed the possibility and uh, different database migration possibility with the Flyway and Liquibase. Because if you think about what I am talking here, uh, the most important part I am talking like how can you how can you uh, make such an enterprise application from the required level and uh, from the requirement level up to your, your your deployment process and plus and uh, up to your, your your monitoring process the microservice applications uh, that's why is the microservice application need to be monitored the and because of the if you think about one Google Pays or in Facebook or Amazon or eBay pages, maybe there is a containing one single page containing 10 to 15 microservices call. And that means those microservices uh, calls, uh, microservices you need to be monitored. And that's why it is really important to maintain those uh, microservices, the, the health condition, matrices information, your JBM information, JBM matrices, and that's the information really, 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 really help you to maintain uh, your application a uh, really good way to flexible way to maintain the application and the checking the mail and the health condition of your application also the metrics as information uh, in your applications and then if it's something wrong you can all the notification you can see the what happening because and and then you can comp uh, you can very quickly fix the bugs and release the your file release the your your you release uh, release the your new version or new features or new fun functionalities and that's why it is important uh, to 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 understand or to 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 make um, some really to make some such a monitoring tools with the best uh, fitted uh, monitoring tools like micrometer prometheus and gafana uh, that's the things i try to uh, try to explain with you and how can you do such a monitoring tool configuration uh, with the with the different uh, Spring Boot microservice applications, uh, like uh, with the profile, with with the enterprise level uh, tools and the enterprise level deployment process, and the enterprise level um, uh, the uh, combination of your know, all the tools levels. The what we did the last, uh, the and how can enterprise application, how can a big company, how they work. So big company normally what I am here. Uh, the big company is exactly what they are doing. So the, the professional application, it not the hello world application, it's a professional application. How can you start the very, very beginning level to the, the end level, even though in the, in the monitoring level, 
how can you a microservice application could be monitor and it is how can you how can you do your microservices applications with uh, with the DevOps cultures? Maybe means you have a continuous indication, continuous deployments. The previous screencast I already really dis discussed really more about the continuous integration, continuous deployment, and and different deployment process with the standard jar based deployment, Docker Docker Compose based deployment, and Docker Kubernetes based deployment. Now, those are new into my channels. Thus, subscribe the channels, show the channels what you need. I believe that will help you. This is the screencast. I use those microservices to visualize the uh, the the the. Uh, the microservice uh, health condition and matrix says I will monitor those health health services and monitors and JVM information also and I will configure uh, the the different microservices tools into the my uh, my application developments. Let's go the developments how it is done and I will show you later. On. So that means uh, if I look if you look the uh, the possibility uh, if I go to the next slide. Oops, sorry. And uh, if you go to the next slide, we okay, if I go to the next slide, you see the previously it was this very simple, straightforward uh, approach. Like my, uh, the, we we use the Spring Boot actuator, and then now it's time instead of the Spring Boot actuator, we transform this the matrix and health condition with the Prometheus, and the Spring Boot administrative because it has uh, some uh, limitations, and and then it is overcome with the Grafana tools. So that means we already use the Spring Boot actuator in our applications. We need to be just a little bit change the, the configuration and settings then and dependency injection for using the Prometheus and with micrometer and also we need to be changed to some some configuration to use the Grafana visualization tool so we visualized our application with the Prometheus first and with the after the Prometheus is everything working properly then we migrate or we can connect with the Prometheus uh, login log information or matrix information to the Grafana visualizations let's do it and just continue the, the development and configurations and we will do the step by steps.